Hello there everyone, Bryn Blaze here. Welcome along to this review of the beauty counter opportunity for those of you considering becoming a consultant with the company. We're going to look over the compensation plan, see how it fares up against the competition. We're going to see is there a demand in the marketplace for the product, see how the website is performing, see, check out the interest over time for beauty counter. You're going to see how your competition is advertising both offline and online what methods they're using and we're going to discuss promotional methods should you decide to become a consultant so let's not waste a lot of time let's dive right in guys and the very first thing i'm going to pull up for you here is google trends so i've ran a five-year timeline here for beauty counter and as you can see guys this looks extremely promising so steady steady start and then we get an upward trend and it's continuing to rise here at the time of me recording this video it's December 2017 guys so this is what you like to see what you see right here would literally be impossible if the product sucked to cut a long story short the marketplace never lies you might see some temporary hyperinflation just from promotion but it would soon die away again if the marketplace didn't respond, if it wasn't receptive, if it didn't catch on. So this is a good sign, guys, and it's continuing to trend up. One thing I always check for, guys, when researching and reviewing a network marketing company is social media presence. You'd be amazed how many network marketing companies are stuck in their ways, refusing to adapt to emerging consumer behaviors and the digital economy. And Beauty Counter, thankfully, is moving with the times and their Facebook page is very active they're posting content regularly and more importantly there's huge engagement look at this guys so that's always a good sign when it comes to the products themselves guys I'll be the first to admit I'm not the best guy to give you a review on them there's plenty of beautiful women here on YouTube that have reviews tailored specifically to the makeup to the cosmetics and that so I leave that up to them and we're going to stick and stay on point here with the opportunity itself so should you decide to become a consultant with beauty counter how would you be rewarded for your efforts what sort of money can you earn well that's going to be determined by what's known as a compensation plan guys if you're brand new to network marketing that outlines exactly how you are paid based on performance based on the quantity of goods and services that you're responsible for rendering to a marketplace between your own personal efforts and those in your team so the first way you earn guys is pretty straightforward it's retail commission so your own personal retail sales you earn a base commission of 25 percent and then depending on your personal sales volume you get this personal sales bonus on top of that so pv is personal volume and this represents the personal volume of your sales so you get an extra five percent seven percent and ten percent on top of that depending on how much you sell within a calendar month so one of the most attractive things about compensation plans is that they provide you the opportunity to earn non-linear income residual leveraged income would you prefer to earn off 100 percent of your own efforts or one percent of 100 people's efforts if you rely solely on trading your time for money like in a job you're limited to how much money you can earn because there's only so many hours in a day so much energy you can output and you don't get paid for the hour you get paid for the amount of value that you bring to the hour so if you've got a team of distributors that's essentially acts as a distribution channel that's rendering goods and services to a marketplace and you start to earn these overrides guys on other people's efforts as you help them succeed and you can only succeed in this industry to the extent that you help others succeed so these are the paid as titles or ranks you start out as consultant you can work your way up to managing director and some of the qualifying requirements for that is your own personal sales volume your overall team sales volume and essentially how much volume can come from let's say one leg or one person you can't have just one person run away and build the whole business that wouldn't be compliant so you need to have multiple people you need to be helping multiple people ascend those ranks along with you and as you do so you start to earn into deeper and deeper levels of your organization so level one that's the people you personally referred from here onwards as manager you're earning nine percent guys level two look at these nine percent and i've looked at a lot of compensation plans for jewelry companies cosmetic companies and i must say this is absolutely on the high side this is well above average i've seen them down around three percent five percent would be the average so it's very generous in that respect and this frontline business builder bonus guys this is a one-time payout that you earn to incentivize you 
to step into your role as a leader and help others ascend the ranks. So when they hit these ranks of manager, senior manager, director, or senior consultant, you start to earn, you earn these one-time payouts, guys. As you can see, guys, quite a lucrative compensation plan, but your success is not going to come down to the nitty gritty fine details of a compensation plan if one company is offering you 3% more over here or 3% less or even what you're selling. Your success is never going to come from outside of yourself. It's going to come from you, your initiative, your drive, your ambition, your willingness to learn and implement and help others succeed along with you. And having said that, what are your options when it comes to promoting and selling? First of all, you need to treat this like a true business profession and invest the time, energy and resources in mastering sales, mastering leadership, mastering marketing. So many people come to this industry with zero marketing and sales experience and then they wonder why they struggle and they give up and quit too soon, guys, before they've seen results. This is a true business and it is a low startup capital compared to a traditional offline business. So don't let that fool you. You still need to treat it like a real business. You can rely solely on traditional offline prospecting methods. You can build out a list of 100 friends and family and cold call each one of them individually. You can host home parties. A lot of that tends to stop of a lot of consultants and distributors in this industry right in their tracks because it comes with a lot of pain rejection and they don't want to alienate their friends. You don't want to enter the NFL club, the no friends left club. That's why a lot of people tend to turn to digital marketing and with this digital economy, with social media, literally the globe becomes your potential marketplace. You can build your business without geographical boundaries. And if it's something you'd like to dive deeper on, I can help you out with that, guys. I've been marketing online for over a decade now. So if you'd like to dive in and learn step by step how to start attracting pre-qualified prospects that are already looking for you, you can hop over to mlmattractionformula.com. Register for a free spot, guys, and insider online selling and recruiting mastery bootcamp. And I hope to be seeing you on the inside in just a sec. Thanks a lot. I hope you got value from this video. All the best.